Hello everyone, Mesolite Visual with another video. A couple of days ago, I created a video about modeling laser saw building in China, and I had a comment from one of our followers asking to create galaxy saw building also in China, Beijing, by Saha Did Architects. Thank you so much for your contribution, guys. I appreciate that. It's a great challenge to exploit the capabilities of ArchiCAD for producing complex geometries and forms for modern architecture. Without any further ado, let's jump straight onto it. But before we jump, make sure you like and share this video. And if you are new to this channel, we upload videos on presenting and communicating architecture weekly, sometimes twice in a week, using ArchiCAD, Lumion, and Adobe softwares. Galaxy Saw is one of the unique, complex, and irregular forms you can ever think of. So I've used different strategies to approach this intensive exercise. The work starts by tracing the line work, like always when you are modeling an existing structure. Once we have produced the line work, the real work starts. We apply walls to all these lines to create strips of the form. Then from the section view, draw a contour line that represents the curvature of the structure. And with the help of story levels, I will align each wall to the relevant story height. Then create a profile for each of these wall strips. This gives us a platform to add a unique curve or a slant to each profile according to its position in the whole curvature of the structure. This will add a smoother curve to the form. It's a very important step that needs a proper management and control of this data. So I will assign each profile an ID that will represent the story level. Let's move to the next item. Let's add glazing to the floors. For this operation, you can try use a curtain wall or create a glass profile for each level. But this will require an enormous amount of work. My approach is to take advantage of the wall street profiles and add glass section. Period. This would automatically update all the walls with glazing. The next block is pretty the same operations as the first one. The difference is the size. The last two blocks are a different approach. In this case, I will use the slab to apply it to each spline. This is because of the constant changing of the curvature on each view. Hence, we have a different approach to produce these two blocks. Open a section view, then move to align each slab to the relevant story height. Then use the wall to add glazing to each specific floor. This operation will be the same creation of the last block. The other interesting part of this organic structure is bridges that connect four blocks of the building. I will continue with the slab to, to bridge these buildings together. Now everything is almost in place. We are going to add the roof. It's made up of a steel louvers connected to the steel frame. Slab 2 is a perfect tool for generating these complex components. Just like we did previously, we generate lines using the spline tool to represent each strip of the roof louvers. From here, duplicate with the same point. Then subtract to cut each slab to the width dimensions of the louvers. This will be effective when done in 3D window for easy access to each component. Next is the louver detail on the atrium skylight opening. We are going to wrap around the steel louvers to cover the exposed edges of the roof. In this type of structures, paying attention to detail is very, very important. Let's apply the wall around the edge by press and hold the space bar in the keyboard and click. Then capture and edit a profile to craft the louvers detail in the profile manage.
complete by applying the profile to the wall. Next is the challenging roof. This roof gets its support from the steel frame trusses that we are going to manipulate from the louvers. Go to section view and sketch the frame using a polyline. Then apply morph and extrude to give it a thickness in the 3D window. Now, let's multiply this member along with the points of the roof system. Due to the complexity of this roof, we can't get the result we want with this approach. Every piece is unique in terms of size and shape. So let's use a different strategy. Instead of having a defined truss, let's only define the internal part of the truss and leave the outer part exposed. Then multiply along with the roof points as we did before. Copy the roof and the trusses to the side and convert the louvers to a morph. Then subtract with upward extrusion. Use trusses as target and louvers as the operator. From here, clean up the members that are not perfectly crafted. This type of structure, components are manufactured from the workshop using this type of data with the unique ID for easy installation. I'm working in a fully detailed course about architecture massing forms and geometries that will be coming soon. Make sure you stay tuned. We have another Archicad Simplified course that is currently running and it's beginner friendly course. That's for the commercial, let's get back to our video. The two blocks are the same operation as well. The difference here I didn't copy and convert the louvers on the side as I did in the previous process. I just performed subtract on its position, which is a cool idea. The interesting thing about this approach is the truss member is not perfectly crafted. You can readjust its position and then the cut will be automatically updated. Thanks to the live solid element operation, unlike before where we manually adjusted each and perfect cut truss. Next is the aluminum or steel vertical frames of the glazing. I covered this process again from the layers of Zoho building video. Check the video in the top right corner and I'll also leave a link in the description. What we can learn from this exercise and the previous video is when you are dealing with generating complex form and geometries, a mass is the creation of all components. Hence, it is easy to manipulate other components from it. The last component is the atrium skylight. This feature may look complex, but it's easy to create. Once you've got 2D lines in place, you are good to go. I have used the beam tool to apply it on these lines, then slab for glazing. Thank you for watching this video. Go down below for comments, questions, and suggestions of the next video. I will see you there. If you are new in this channel, subscribe and I will recommend videos to watch in the description for inspiration. Please like and share this video.